Florida Panthers jokes, NHL jokes. Q. What do the Florida Panthers and the Titanic have in common? A. They both look good until they hit the ice. Q. What's the difference between frequent flyer miles and the Florida Panthers? A. Frequent flyer miles earn points. Q. Why do Panthers fans drink from a saucer? A. Because the cup's always in Detroit. Q. Why did the Panthers enforcer retire early? A. He was ice fishing and got run over by the Zamboni. Q. Why don't the Panthers drink tea? A. Because the Canadiens and Red Wings have all the cups. Q. What do you call five Florida Panthers players standing ear to ear? A. A wind tunnel. Q. Why are the Panthers like grizzly bears? A. Every fall they go into hibernation. Q. What does a recent high school dropout and the Florida Panthers have? In common. A. They're both young, have no goals and no good prospects. Q. What's the difference between a line of cocaine and a pair of Panthers tickets? A. People would pass up a pair of Panthers tickets. Q. What's the difference between a fat chick and the Panthers? A. Even a fat chick scores every once in a while. Q. Why do the Panthers suck at geometry? A. Because they never have any points. Q. What is it called when a Florida Panthers player blows in another? Panthers player's ear. A. Data transfer. Q. What do college students and the Panthers have in common? A. They've both finished their year by April. Q. What's blue and orange and goes down the toilet faster than liquid? Plumber. A. The Florida Panthers. Q. What do a fine wine and the Florida Panthers have in common? A. They both spend a lot of time in the cellar, cost too much and are only enjoyed on select occasions. Q. Why did the post office recall their latest stamps? A. They had pictures of Panthers players on them and people couldn't figure out which side to spit on. Q. Why do people like driving a car with a Panthers fan? A. Because you can park in the handicap zone. Q. What do you get when you combine all 23 Florida Panthers with 23 lesbians? A. 46 people that don't do dick. Q. What is the difference between a Florida Panthers fan and a pothole? A. I would swerve to avoid the pothole. Q. What song do Florida Panthers fans sing before the end of the third period? A. Nobody knows. There's never any of them left. Q. What's the difference between the Florida Panthers and a mosquito? A. A mosquito stops sucking. Q. What do the Florida Panthers and possums have in common? A. Both play dead at home and get killed on the road. Q. What is the difference between a Panthers fan and a baby? A. The baby will stop whining after a while. Q. Did you hear the Florida Panthers are moving to the Philippines? A. They are going to be called the Mania Folders. Q. What do I have in common with the Florida Panthers? A. Next week, we'll both be watching the Stanley Cup Finals on television. Q. What do Florida Panthers fans and sperm have in common? A. One in three million has a chance of becoming a human being. Q. How many Florida Panthers does it take to change a tire? A. One, unless it's a blowout, in which case they all show up. Q. What do you call 23 millionaires around a TV watching the Stanley Cup? Finals. A. The Florida Panthers. Q. How can you tell if a Panthers fan just sent you a fax? A. There's a stamp on it. Q. What do the Florida Panthers and Billy Graham have in common? A. They both can make 15,000 people stand up and yell Jesus Christ. Q. What is the difference between a bucket of shit and in Florida? Panthers fan. A. The bucket. Q. If you have a car containing a Panthers forward, a Panthers center, and a Panthers defender, who is driving the car? A. The cop. Q. How do you castrate an Florida Panthers fan? A. 
kick his sister in the mouth. Q, what should you do if you find three Florida Panthers hockey fans? Buried up to their neck in cement. A, get more cement. Q, what's the difference between an Florida Panthers fan and a carp? A, one is a bottom feeding, scum sucker, and the other is a fish. Q. How did the Florida Panthers fan die from drinking milk? A. The cow fell on him. Q. What does a Florida Panthers fan do when his team has won the Stanley Cup? A. He turns off the PlayStation 3. Q. How many Florida Panthers fans does it take to change a light bulb? A. None. Lava lamps don't burn out man. Q. What does a Florida Panthers fan and a bottle of beer have in common? A. They're both empty from the neck up. Q. Why do Florida Panthers fans keep their season tickets on their dashboards? A. So they can park in handicap spaces. Q. How do the Panthers spend the first week of training camp? A. Studying the Miranda rights. Q. How do you keep a Panthers fan from masturbating? A. You paint his dick flyers orange and black and he won't beat it for four years. Q. Why do ducks fly over Bank Atlantic Center upside down? A. There's nothing worth creping on. Q. Why doesn't Jacksonville have a professional hockey team? A. Because then Sunrise would want one. Q. Did you hear that Florida's hockey team doesn't have a website? A. They can't string three W's together. Q. What's the difference between a Bank Atlantic Center hot dog, and a Wells Fargo Center hot dog? A. You can buy a Wells Fargo Center hot dog in May. Q. Why did BP hire the Florida Panthers to clean up the Gulf oil spill? A. Because they'll go out there and throw in the towel. Q. What's the difference between a dead dog in the road and a dead? Florida Panthers fan in the road. A. There are skid marks in front of the dog. Q. What is a Florida Panthers fan's favorite wine? A. We can't beat Philadelphia. Q. How do you stop a Florida Panthers fan from beating his wife? A. Dress her in Philadelphia orange and black. Q. What's the difference between the Bank Atlantic Center and a red light? District. A. In a red light district, you pay $300 bucks and somebody scores. Q. What's the difference between the Miami Heat and the Florida Panthers? A. The Heat shoot at a net. Q. Why are the Florida Panthers like United States Postal Service? A. They both wear uniforms and don't deliver. Reckless driver. A Panthers fan liked to amuse himself by scaring every Flyers fan he saw. Strutting down the street in an obnoxious hockey jersey. He would swerve. His van as if to hit them, then swerve back just missing them. One day while driving along, he saw a priest. He thought he would do a good deed, so he pulled over and asked the priest, Where are you going? Father. I'm going to give Mass at Street. Francis Church, about two miles down the road replied the priest. Climb in, father. I'll give you a lift. The priest climbed into the passenger seat, and they continued down the road. Suddenly, the driver saw a Flyers fan walking down the road, and he instinctively swerved as if to hit him. But, as usual, he swerved back onto the road just in time. Even though he was certain that he had missed the guy, he still heard a Loud thud. Not knowing where the noise came from, he glanced in his mirrors but still didn't see anything. He then remembered the priest, and he turned to the priest and said, Sorry father, I almost hit that flyer's fan. That's okay, replied the priest I got him with the door. Better at sex. There were two men, one was a panther's fan and the other was a flyer's fan. These men were both madly in love with the same woman. So the woman challenged that whichever man does a better job at having sex with her would be her boyfriend. Both men accepted the challenge. That night, 
the woman had sex with the Panthers fan and then the other. Knight had sex with the Flyers fan. The next day the woman chose the Flyers fan to be her boyfriend. Shocked and outraged, the Panthers fan asked why she didn't choose him. She replied by saying, You, like your team not only come up short but always finish early. Career Day It's career day in elementary school where each student talks about what their dad does. Little Johnny is last, and finally the teacher calls on him to talk about his dad. Johnny comes to the front of the class. My daddy is a dancer at a gay bar. He takes off his clothes for other men, and if they pay him enough money, he goes into the alley and performs sex acts on them. The teacher is shocked, and she calls for an early recess for the rest of the class. She sits down with Johnny and asks him if this is really true about his dad. Johnny says, no, but I was too embarrassed to say he played for the Florida Panthers. First grade. A first grade teacher explains to her class that she is a Florida Panthers fan. She asks her students to raise their hands if they were Panthers fans, too. Not really knowing what a Panthers fan was, but wanting to be like their teacher, hands explode into the air. There is, however, one exception. A girl named Mary has not gone along with the crowd. The teacher asks her why she has decided to be different. Because I'm not a Panthers fan. Then, asks the teacher, what are you? Why I'm proud to be a Philadelphia Flyers fan, boasts the little girl. The teacher is a little perturbed now, her face slightly red. She asks Mary why she is a Flyers fan. Well, my dad and mom are Flyers fans, and I'm a Flyers fan, too. The teacher is now angry. That's no reason, she says loudly. What if your mom was a moron, and your dad was a moron? What would you be then? A pause, and a smile. Then, says Mary, I'd be a Panthers fan. Skunk. A skunk walks into a bar and sees three guys in the corner wearing Florida. Panthers jerseys. He turns to the bartender and says yeah lll think I stink.